Hi, I am Lopa Mudrashen. Welcome back to my channel, Electronic Science Tutorial. From today, I will start a new lecture series on NTA UGC NET and West Bengal SET exam for Electronic Science subject. Those who are not check out my channel, please follow my channel. If you like my channel, then please do like, share and subscribe my channel. So, let's start our class. In today's class, we discuss about the NTA UGC NET and West Bengal SET exam 2022. In this session, we cover in detail about this topic so that we can easily solve the previous year question paper of UGC NET Electronic Science. Each and every topic we can understand in easy and simple manner. So, let's begin our NTA UGC NET exam 2022 class. Okay? In this slide, we discuss about the NET, NTA NET and West Bengal SET syllabus of subject electronic science. The code is 88 for NTA UGC NET for electronic science subject. This is the paper 2. Okay, paper 1 is general paper and paper 2 is subject paper. So, in this session we cover the electronic science subject unit 1. The first topic of unit 1 is introduction to semiconductor. Every topic of this semiconductor I am trying to cover in this session. Okay, so that we can easily understand the question and the tricks of the question paper. Okay. The next topic is energy bands in solid which is also in unit 1. Second topic. Third topic of unit 1 is concept of effective mass. Fourth topic of unit 1 is density of states and the fifth Fifth topic of unit 1 is Fermi levels. In detail discussion of this topic we cover uh, in this session, right? So that we can easily understand the electronic science subject and the semiconductor device, okay? Our first topic is introduction to semiconductor. That means, what is semiconductor? So, what is semiconductor? Semiconductors are a special class of materials having a conductivity between that of a good conductor and that of an insulator. What is a good conductor? A good conductor which can conduct current heavily through this device through the conductor device and what is insulator that is no current will flow through the insulator device. So semiconductors is lies in between con, uh, good conductor and an insulator that means a moderate current flow through the semiconductor which is not good that of an good conductor and not bad of an insulator. Okay, a moderate current flow through the semiconductor device. So, this is the main part and this is the uh, main part that is in modern technology why we use semiconductors. So, this is the definition that is semiconductors are a special class of materials having a conductivity between that of a good conductor and that of an insulator, right? This is the energy of electrons. This is the conduction band, this is the valence band. This energy of electrons or energy band is for insulator. This is the semiconductor figure. This is conduction band, this is valence band and this is for conductor. This is conduction band and this is valence band. 
the lower energy band that means this band the lower energy band are normally completely filled by the electrons and these electrons always tend to occupy the lowest available energy state and this band is called valence band the higher energy band that is the this band may be completely empty or may be partly filled by the electrons okay this band is called conduction band according to pauli's exclusion principle restricts the number of electrons that a band can accommodate we know okay a partly filled band appears when a partly filled energy level produces an energy band or when a totally filled band and a totally empty band overlap okay so this band is called conduction band which is partly empty or partly filled or empty band and this full of electron band is called valence band the energy bands are separated by a gap is called forbidden energy gap for insulator the gap is very large for semiconductor the gap is uh, not very large than insulator not very small compared with conductor because in conductor the conduction band and valence band is overlap condition so in definition what we saw that is conductivity lies between a good conductor and that of an insulator okay so current heavily flow in conductor circuit and current will not flow in the insulator circuit because the forbidden energy gap is heavy or the forbidden energy gap is large for insulator and for conductor it is in overlap condition and for semiconductor it is in moderate condition not larger than insulator not overlap in not overlap condition compare with conductor okay so this is a semiconductor energy band diagram so what is metal or what is conductor a crystalline solid is called a metal if the uppermost energy band is partly filled or the uppermost filled band and the next unoccupied band overlap in energy here the electrons in the uppermost band find neighboring vacant states to move in and thus behave as free particles in the presence of an applied electric field these electrons gain energy from the field and produce an electric current so that a metal is a good conductor of electricity the partly filled band is called conduction band the electrons in the conduction band are known as free electrons or conduction electrons so this is a conductor or a metal next we discuss about the insulator in some crystalline solid the forbidden energy gap between the uppermost filled band called the valence band and the lowermost empty band called the conduction band is very large in such solids at ordinary temperature only a few electrons can acquire enough energy enough thermal energy 
to move from the valence band to the conduction band such solids are known as insulator okay since only a few electrons few free electrons are available in the conduction band an insulator is a bad conductor of electricity okay right so what does it mean it means the gap is so much large and that for this reason the electrons can a few free electrons can acquire enough thermal energy to move from the valence band to the conduction band and so the current cannot flow through the insulator okay next we saw the energy bands of semiconductor semiconductor is a material for which the width of the forbidden energy gap between the valence band and the conduction band is relatively small okay as the forbidden energy gap is not very wide or not very large some of the valence electrons acquire enough thermal energy to go through the valence band to the conduction band these electrons then become free and can move about under the action of the applied electric field the absence of an electron in the valence band is referred to as hole the holes also serve as carrier of electricity the electrical conductivity of semiconductor is less than that of a metal but greater than that of an insulator so this is the band diagram of semiconductor the range of energies possessed by the valence electrons is known as valence band and the range of energies of possessed by conduction band of electrons is known as conduction band conduction electrons the range of energies possessed by conduction electrons is known as conduction band so this is the energy bands of metal insulator and semiconductor right so what is the properties of semiconductor number 1 a pure semiconductor has a negative temperature coefficient of resistance in detail of each and every of this topic we discuss in next class okay in this class we are all we only discuss about the topic okay the properties of the semiconductor in detail we discuss this each and every topic in the next class first top first property of semiconductor is a pure semiconductor has a negative temperature coefficient of resistance second property is irradiation by light a semiconductor shows a change of resistance and the number 3 is semiconductors have high thermoelectric power of signs both positive and negative with respect to metal so these three are the properties of semiconductor which we will discuss in next class okay so what are the semiconductor materials in general semiconductor material 
having two classes. Number one, single crystal semiconductor. Single crystal semiconductor, example is germanium and silicon, have a repetitive crystal structure. And the number two is compound crystal semiconductor. Example is gallium arsenide, cadmium sulphide. This is gallium arsenide, cadmium sulphide, gallium nitride and gallium arsenide phosphide. Which are constructed of two or more semiconductor materials of different atomic structures. Okay. So, these are the semiconductor materials. Semiconductor materials having two classes. One is single crystal semiconductor, example germanium and silicon. Another one is compound crystal semiconductor, example gallium arsenide, cadmium sulphide, gallium nitride, gallium arsenide phosphide. So, these are the semiconductor materials. Okay. So, here we end our first topic introduction to semiconductor. Okay. Thank you. I hope you love this informative session of NTA UGC NET or West Bengal SET exam. If you like my video, then please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Then we will see you in the next video. Thank you.